and go ahead and stretch it next to the right and to the left. Good. Arm up over the head and stretch those triceps that we worked so hard. Great. And other side. What I want you to keep doing, I want you to keep stretching. Good. And stretch over to the side. Fantastic. All right. This is the best part. Okay. Great. And shrug those shoulders out all the way up and around. All the way up and around. Just feel the life hitting you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, are you ready for your workout? Let's go. I hope you are. We're going to start with push-ups. Angelique, you go ahead and start right there. And I'm going to get right down here on the ground. Angelique is doing a tricep type push-up. Okay? Now, I'm going to be doing the little bit harder version. Angelique's up here, and she's working on her chest muscles. She's working on her arms. All right? Great. This is what she's doing. Look at this beautiful form she has. She's keeping her buns tight. She's keeping her abdomen tight. All right? She's, and she's working on these triceps right here. Look at that. She's doing a great job. And if she gets tired, you know what she's going to do? She's going to rest just like you're going to do. If you get tired, you have to remember, if you can only do one or two or three, you're a winner just to be able to do one, two, or three. Look at that form she's got there. Working on those triceps right here. Good. And if she gets tired too, either she can rest or she can do little baby movements, smaller movements. Right, on your knees. There you go. Perfect, Angelique. And I'm going to go ahead and join you now. Okay. All right. I'm going to go right down on the ground. I'm going to go ahead and do them on the ground here. And I'm going to do a little bit more advanced version. Just like this. And down. And up. And down. And up. So if you can't do this, don't worry about it. You bend your knees and you go down on your knees like this. Okay? Just like that. Or if that's too hard, then you do smaller movements, just like this. Okay? Very, very simple. Okay? Angelique, remember, if you get tired, remember to stretch those triceps out. I think I'm gonna. Great. And I'm gonna go back up to the little bit more difficult one and press. And press. And press it up. Good. And I'm gonna go back down to my knees. And you can switch like I'm doing right now. I'm switching in the middle. It gets a little bit hard. Then I switch in the middle, and I do smaller ones on my knees. So I'm not using my whole body weight. Remember, you're not only working your triceps here, you're working your shoulders and your chest. And we're going to move on to the next exercise. Are you ready? Let's okay. Do it. We're going to go ahead and do our standing plie squat with our bicep curls. Are you ready? I'm ready. And squeeze. Okay, now Angelique. Do you love this? Don't you love working I love upper this. and lower? I love upper and, and my lower together. Is not that the best? And give you a break. No, tell me this. Are you laughing at me right now? Look what I have in my hands. I have soup cans. And I always say this. You don't need fancy gym equipment. All you have to use are anything you have in your home. It can be water bottles. It can be rubber bands. It can be soup cans. <laughs> Hey, that kind of rhymed, didn't it? Good. Okay. All right, and look at what I'm doing. I'm doing upper and lower together. So I'm not only working my biceps, which is the upper part of the arm, okay? I'm working my inner thighs. I'm doing plie squats. As you can see, look at me. I'm going down pretty far. If you can't, I want you to do small ones. Like this, nice and small. Nice and small. Just like that. And as you can hear, my respiration is going up because I'm talking to you. Can you talk to me right now? I'm asking you. Can you speak to me? And the reason why I'm asking is because I want to make sure you can speak back to me. If you can't talk to me right now, you're working too hard. I want you to march in place if you can't talk to me right now. Angelique, can you talk to me? I'm, I'm barely. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. But I want to save my resting Great. for the other exercises. And remember, when you are doing both upper and lower together, you're doing... Okay. And you know I, want, I want you to know this. When you're doing... Keep going. Sorry, that's okay. <laughs> when you're doing upper and lower together, what I want you to keep in mind is that you're burning more calories and more fat. And the reason why is because you're working all the body. Look at this form she has here. She's working her biceps up here. Her elbows are locked in her side. She's squeezing the muscle here. And she's also beautiful inner thigh squats right here. We call them plie squats. Okay, she's working her inner thighs. She's working her buns. Everything. Look at this form. It's absolutely beautiful. And and breathing. <laughs> she has to breathe. That's fantastic, Angelique. I'm going to keep, I'm going to go ahead and join you again. 
because I love these. Okay, we're gonna do our next exercise now. And our next exercise is overhead tricep extension. You know what, thank God we have to do that right now because our legs are dying. Okay, are you ready? Arms up and behind the head and extend. And look at Angelique right now too. She's doing one arm extension. I'm gonna do two arm extensions, all right? And I'm gonna go ahead so you can see. And squeeze it up. We're working on the back of the arm right now. I'm gonna move over slowly to Angelique so I can show you her form. Cause she always has great form. Look at this, great form of the muscle. She's working the tricep muscle here, all right? She's working the tricep right here from the elbow to the shoulder, that's the tricep muscle. Three different muscles there. So if you think that the back of your arm is bigger than the front of your arm, it should be, you have more muscle there. Okay, there's three there. There's only two in the front and the bicep. Try meaning three, by <laughs> meaning two. Great, let's go ahead and switch to the other side, okay. Angelique. You have great form, Angelique. Thank you. Wonderful. And you're breathing at the same time. Which is helping me feel better. Are you gonna are you gonna be psyched to eat that stroganoff later? That Nancy cooking for us. So look at this. We're getting a workout in. Well Nancy's in living in the room. kitchen. I know oh, in our living room. And it's sweating. A, and sweating. And you know what? The greatest thing about it is we're getting our workout in while we're getting something else done at the same time. Twenty minutes, it's not a lot to ask. I'm gonna keep joining you. Okay. Okay, let's between my tricep of extension. And look at the form I have too. Knees are bent, abdomen is tight. That's exactly what you want to see. I don't want locked knees. I want everything in alignment and working those triceps, pushing them up to the ceiling and squeezing them. No more bye-bye arms. And like, do you like bye-bye arms? I don't like those. Ew. Do you know what <laughs> bye-bye arms are? It's those arms that keep waving in the wind after you've stopped waving. We don't want those. We like nice toned arms. Fantastic. Keep breathing with me. And it doesn't matter how many you do. If you get tired, what I want you to do is put these down. Okay, I want you to put them down on the ground and go ahead and stretch. All right, and we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and move on to our next exercise. We're gonna do a reverse curl with a, and a reverse lunge at the same time. Now, reverse curl. I'm gonna actually have Angelique do it. I'm gonna show you this. Reverse curl, curl for the bicep. You're doing a shoulder raise, okay? We're gonna do those reverse curls, remember? Right. Yeah, there that's it. The shoulders, it the exactly, you squeeze it all the way up. Okay. For the bicep, perfect. There. Now, again, we're working two body parts together. We're working the bicep, and we're working the hips, the thighs, and the butt at the same time. Angelique, that is great form. Watch out for your knee. I want you to watch out for your knee at home, too. I want you to make sure it stays directly over your foot and never crosses the toe line. Another great balancing one. It is, exactly. It's great for balance as well. We talk about balance a lot because we want to know that that's a functional movement, everyday movement. When you get out of your car, when you get out of your bed, these are exercises that help you with that. Have you ever been stuck inside your tub <laughs> and you couldn't get out of your tub? Not yet. This exercise <laughs> will help you. Definitely. That's great. It's like beautiful form. And I'm going to go ahead and join you okay. now. And it's called a reverse curl, okay? I want you to know this. It's a reverse curl because you're not curling them this way. You're turning your hands over and you're curling them up this way. Okay? I'm doing a little bit more basic version of the, of the lunge. A little bit helping. Okay? I'm going to go ahead and switch to the other leg and turn myself around. Great. Angelique, watch out for that knee. I know. I got to remember. You know it. Good. I got to concentrate on and my balance. And squeeze them up. And squeeze them up. And squeeze and squeeze. Good. When I say squeeze, you know what I want you to squeeze? I want you to squeeze your bicep right up here. And I want you to squeeze your buns at the same time. And keep breathing. Angelique, come join us. You're moving, you're moving away from me too far. I'm, I'm lunging lunging away. away. <laughs> you're lunging away. Exactly. Like melting away. I'm going to switch again. I'm doing, remember, I am doing the basic version. Angelique is doing the more advanced version. Of course, I'll give her the harder version. What do you think? I'm crazy or something? I'm crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. It's like you're doing a great job. Good. If you remember, if you're getting tired, I want you to just march in place, all right? We're going to an easy one now. We're going to go into the back of the arm for the tricep. Are you ready? Against the couch over there, Angelique. And I'm going to go ahead and show them your form. Good. Tricep kick back. Get ready. Let's go. Squeeze. Beautiful form. As you can see, look at this form here. Both her knees are bent. And what she's doing is working on her tricep. Everything is stabilized on the bottom. And this is where we're concentrating. 
I always talk about mind and the muscle. Put your mind into the muscle you're working, and you can feel the squeeze. As you squeeze it back, I want you to squeeze it as hard as you can. Kick it back, and think about getting rid of those bye-bye arms. Triceps again. I told you we were target training those arms. So biceps and triceps. Beautiful. Great, Angela. Can you? Perfect. And always keep that elbow stationary right in place. You can go ahead and switch, and I'm going to go ahead and join you right here. And I'm going to do both arms at the same time. Here's my form. Squeeze it back. So you can see there's the tricep working. And squeeze. And squeeze it back. See my form here? Knees are bent. Abdomen is tight. Back is in natural alignment. And this is the muscle I'm working. But you can see that right there. Squeeze. Three muscles back there. Those are your triceps working and squeeze. You see how my elbow is staying stationary? Perfect. Squeeze it back and squeeze. Good. And exhale. Breathe. If you're getting tired, go ahead and put these down. And this is what you do. You just put them down and you keep continuing with no weight. And squeeze it back. Keep squeezing that tricep out. Okay, I'm going to go grab mine again. Great. And squeeze it back. And squeeze it back. Keep breathing. If you're having a hard time right now, you know what I want you to do? I want you to march in place. And squeeze. And squeeze, Angelique. How are you feeling? I'm you switch on arms? Good. <laughs> That's what we need. I'm working up a little sweat. And let's move on to our next exercise. Really simple. We do those bicep curls with a twist. Grab your other dumbbell. Okay. And we're going to start in that reverse curl position and twist our arms on the way up. Simple. Squeeze. Twist them on the way down. Twist them on the way up. I'm going ahead. I'm twisting my my can, my soup can. It's so great. It's so easy to do. And we're fitting it in. Oh, I mean, in a 20-minute workout, you're getting a beautiful target training, upper body workout in 20 minutes. How many times have you said, I don't have time, I don't have the money? You know what you do, you have the time. Because you know what, your health is your wealth and there's nothing more important than that. And squeeze. You see, what I'm doing right now is I'm supinating my hand and what happens is it shortens the muscle and you get a nice peak at the top of the bicep right there and squeeze right at the top of the bicep. We lengthen and we squeeze. We get a nice, some men like to call it the peak on the bicep. Women, we like to call it beautifully toned arms. Squeeze, good. And we keep going. Perfect form again. I love it, absolutely beautiful. Working on those biceps, you can see that as she lengthens the bicep and shortens it. And lengthens and shortens it. Lengthen and shorten. And you see the form she has right here? She's got her knees bent, her abdomen is tight, and all she's working, her elbows are right into her side, not moving, they're not coming up like this. She's got perfect form, absolutely perfect form. Beautiful. Those little biceps of hers. I love it, great toned arm. Very beautiful, very feminine. All right, and I'm gonna keep joining you. And you can also, you know what else, you, what else you can do? I want you to know this. You can also alternate, okay? If, you, if one arm's getting tired, here. And then the other. Okay? And then the other. Very slow. Good. And we're going to move on to our next exercise. And that's going to be a squat with a front lateral raise, which okay. is for our shoulders. Are we ready? And begin. Squat. Stay with us. If you are getting tired, you know what I always say. Just march it out. March in place. Okay? We're doing a front raise here. Now, what I want you to see, what I'm doing right here, is a little squat, okay? The squat is working the hips, the thighs, and the butt. And the lateral raise is working the shoulders. And we're working the medial part of our shoulder. That means the middle part. Okay? It's called the medial deltoid. Great. And I'm going to move over to Angelique so you can see her form. Okay, because look at that form again, absolutely perfect. And I want to point that out. So while you're watching, making sure you're having the right form, she's doing a nice, beautiful squat. Her knee is staying over her, her foot. It's not crossing the toe line. And at the same time, she's doing a beautiful lateral raise. And her hands are not coming above her shoulder line. At the same time, we talk about doing lower and upper together. Why? Because you burn more calories and you burn more fat. 
All right, she's doing a beautiful job. Look at that form. Abdomen is tight, back is in perfect alignment, hip, thighs, and butt are working, and those arms are looking great. Okay, go ahead and join her. And also, if you want to have a variation of this, I want you to know this. Watch this. You're going to go out to the side. Just like that. Variation. That simple. And you can also alternate. One forward, one side. One forward, and one side. That simple. And if you feel like your shoulders are going to fall off right now, I want you to put your cams down, your water bottles, your dumbbells. I'm going to do that. That's great, there you go. Angelique's <laughs> putting them down. <laughs> great. We're gonna go, great, we're gonna go into toe raises with our bent knees. All right, Angelique, okay. are you ready? I'm ready. I'm gonna go ahead and do the harder version. Angelique is gonna do the easier version. And I want you to see this form. A lot of times we work on the big meaty part of our calves. This time we're gonna work on the lower part, right here. We're working on what's called the soleus muscle. Okay, the soleus muscle is the muscle that underlays the big fleshy muscle here on the calf. And it's the only way to hit it is to keep the knees bent and just raising up on the toes, down and up and keeping the knees bent. There it is. That's beautiful, Angelique. Great form. I'm going to do a little bit more advanced version. I'm going to show you that. I'm going to come right over here. I'm going to squat down a little bit harder than Angelique. All right, just like that. Now, if you're hanging onto a couch and your couch is moving, I would suggest not hanging onto it. This is a little bit more the advanced version. You can see how I'm in more of a squat position. But again, I'm just raising up on my toes. Nothing else is moving. I'm not doing squatting. I'm really working up a sweat today. This is great. It feels so good. I know it feels good for you, too. OK, we're working on the bottom part of our legs. Sorry you can't see them. Here, maybe I should lift this up so you can see it a little bit. Remember what we're using. We're using body weight as resistance. Okay? And, and if your legs are starting to burn up here in the quads, if you're doing the ones I'm doing, then go ahead, lift it up, kick them out, and relax, okay? Great. Now, if my legs are burning here from this position, yes. am I still doing it right? It, it, absolutely. Of course, because look at the position you're in. You're using those quadriceps a little bit for the balance. Right. That balance again. Balance is perfect. Go right back down. And remember, this is what you're using. You're using your body weight as resistance. So look at all, look, this is all your body weight on yeah. here. Right, on those quads. Keep breathing. Work it out with us. We're almost there. Great. Angelique, your calves look beautiful. Yep, I'm working on them. Yeah, I'm you feeling it? <laughs> and remember, if, the, if you are getting too tired, what I want you to do is stretch it back. Stretch that heel into the floor just like this. If it's burning. And I know it is. It is. Because if it's burning on me, it's got to be burning on you. Stretch it back into the floor. Push that heel into the floor. Oh, it feels so good. It feels so good to stretch. Good. Back to calves again. Press. And push. Remember, we're working on the soleus. Lower part of the calf. Not the big fleshy part, but the other part. Oh, I hear oh, that I beautiful that cool down music. <laughs> I know. Does so that mean cool down and then eat? Oh, Come on over, good. Angelique. Let's Great. do our partner stretching. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and stretch out Angelique first. We're going to stretch her biceps. If you don't have somebody to help you stretch right now, I want you to get against the wall jam in your house. Okay? And stretch just like this. Think about putting your arm against the wall and turning away from it. All right. Now triceps. Up again, just like that. And this, you're going to put up against your wall, Jim. You don't have somebody to help you out right now. Good. And other side. Great. All right. That feels good. I'll take you over a wallet. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Let me work a little harder. Oh, Sleep tight. Now get a wind star for just you have to do all the talking. Yeah, you're so. right, Deb. Well, Deb does her share of talking, too. Well, you so, know. So, Deb, you can go ahead and step right But You're stepping. Okay, just getting the body warmed up, just like we do with all our fitting it in workouts. Feeling good, Deb? I'm ready. You ready I'm for this so, one? I'm, I'm very much looking forward to this hot legs workout. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what? This is one of my favorite workouts. I've been known for my legs and things like that. I love legs. I will work them all the time. It doesn't matter. Okay, so what we're doing right now is just getting our body warmed up, 
for the leg workout. You have the be best a... legs, by the way. Oh, well, thank you, Deb. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead right into the stretch, Deb. You ready? Okay, I'm ready. All right. Take a deep breath in and up and down. Inhale up and exhale and down. Good. Let's stretch over to the right. And remember, don't go too far. Only stretch to your own ability. I don't want to see your hip squished into your abdomen. And the other side, big stretch. Keep breathing. Remember, this is just the warm up and the stretch for our legs. Okay, let's go ahead and into stretching our legs, turning forward. And let's go ahead and stretch our hamstrings. We're stretching the back part of our leg right now. Okay, and let's turn to the other side. Stretch the other side. Great. Okay, let's go ahead and grab our quads. Uh, actually, not grab our quads, grab our <laughs> foot for our quadriceps stretch. If you need to, go ahead and hang on to the, your chair in your living room, whatever you need. If you're in your kitchen watching us, grab the other leg. It takes a little bit of balance. It does, a absolutely. Bit. But you know what? It's all part of the workout. All right, we're going into leg extensions first. So if you have a pair of ankle weights, I want you to go ahead and grab your ankle weights and put them on like Deb's gonna do. If you don't, I want you to sit down with me right now and let's go ahead and start leg extensions. We're gonna be working on the quadriceps first, all right? Extend the leg and extend the leg. I can tell Deb's gonna take her time on this too. Because we always know. <laughs> we always know. <laughs> Deb likes to take her time just so I don't work her too hard. <laughs> leg extension. Squeeze the quadriceps. Quadriceps, that's the top part of the leg. Quad meaning four. Extending those legs. It's gonna give you those nice shape, tone, tight thighs. And isn't this great for um, a knee stabilizing exercise as well? Uh, Deb, uh, that, uh, I'm so glad you said that because there's a lot of people who have bad knees and this is a great exercise to help strengthen around the knee joint. It's great, it's just a functional exercise. Let's go ahead and switch sides. Squeeze and squeeze the quads. And I want you to see the form. Our abdomen's tight. Squeezing the quadricep right here. Squeeze. Starts from the knee all the way up to the hip. Joins in at the hip. Squeeze. And I, I have my toe pointed just a little bit. Deb has her foot flexed. You can do it whichever way you want, all right? Squeeze and switch again. Great exercise for skiing. Squeeze. Oh, it sure is. It doesn't matter if you're a snow skier, a cross-country skier, or a water skier. It's going to be a great exercise for you, okay? Squeeze and squeeze. And watch the form. Chest is up, abdomen is tight, back is neutral. That means our spine is in perfect alignment. We're not slouching forward like this. Chest is up, head is up. And switch again. Extend and extend. And you know what, you might be saying, well, we're not doing the same amount on each leg, or it doesn't matter. There's no set repetitions here. You do as many as you can, okay? You do just as many as you can until you can't do anymore. And then you switch, just like we're doing. And we're gonna go into our next exercise. We're gonna go into a squat, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and hang on to the couch. Deb's gonna hang on to the couch over there. I'm gonna go ahead and hang on to the chair right here. All right, just like this. Now, if your chair moves, you don't want to hang on to that, okay? We want to grab a stationary object, just like this, okay? You want the feet together on this? You know what, Deb? Either way, you have your, you have your feet hip-width apart, I have mine together. It's whichever way you feel like it. You can do both ways. You can actually alternate if you want. Just to break okay? it up a little just bit? Just to break it up a little bit, exactly. Because what you're working here is your thighs, your hips, and your butt. Okay, thighs again to those quadriceps. Down. Squeeze it down. As you can see, I'm raising my arm up. I have one holding the chair for balance, and this one's counterbalancing me. So as I come down, it helps me balance. All the way down, just like that. Shaping and toning the thighs right here. Okay. How's it feeling? Is it burning yet? <laughs> I feel it. You know, do you, uh, are you a skier? I am a skier, Deb. There's nothing like that burn when you're coming down the slope the first time. This really helps. Isn't that the Strengthen truth, Deb? Your legs. Oh, there's nothing like it. Especially the first day after skiing after the first time. Oh, my God. Oh, the next I know. Day. The next day, right? That's, that's why we want to get you in shape for it. And I don't care if it's water skiing, cross skiing, or downhill skiing. Any one of them makes your legs real sore the next day. But we're fitting it all in today. We're fitting in our workout. And squeeze. Deb, you have great form. Thank you. Fantastic. Chest is up. Just about 90 degree on the way down. Her knees are over her feet. Great. 
And remember, if this is getting too hard for you, what I want you to remember is you can go down slightly like this. Small movements like this. See how small that is? You can do that too. Go ahead and let's shake them out, Deb. Woo! And we're okay. going into our leg curls. Okay. And Deb still has those ankle weights on. I don't have the ankle weights on. Remember, I always make Deb work harder. <laughs> Go ahead and grab onto your mind. chair or your couch again. And we're going to start curling it up. And curl. Great, Deb. And squeeze. And I want you to think about this. Keep in mind, right here, think about that you have a walnut right behind your knee right here. And you're squeezing and you're cracking that nut. And you know what, if you don't like walnuts, I love walnuts, that's why I always use walnuts as an example. But you can put a pecan in there. It's a tough and nut almond. to crack, Mia. What's that? It's a tough nut to crack. It is a tough nut to crack, that's right, Deb. I had to throw and that in there. And this is the muscle right here that we're working on, okay? So you're seeing Deb over there, form. Great. There's the hamstring, right here. Two muscles in the back of the leg. The technical name for it is called biceps femoris. Biceps meaning two two muscles there, and the femur is the back of the leg, okay? The femur is the big bone in that leg right there. Biggest bone in your body. Switch legs, Deb. Okay. If you haven't already. I haven't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we love to burn these legs out. I, I just absolutely love working legs. You know why? Shapely, toned legs, they just make you feel good. Yeah. Actually, when you have nice toned legs, you can fit in those jeans of yours. Maybe you haven't been able to fit in your jeans in a long time, but... <laughs> You're going to get back into them now because you're going to be working out with us. And you're going to fit it in with us. Listen, we've been cooking all day, okay? <laughs> and now we're doing a workout in 20 minutes. You can fit that in, can't you? Stop making the excuses that you can't. Because I, I know you can. You know, because a workout combined with good nutrition are going to give you the results that you want. All right? That's right. Squeeze. Hamstring right here. Great. That's what the show is all about, Deb, you know, yep. fitting it in. It's about fitting in good, healthy nutrition, good cooking, and a great workout. Of course, I use good for the food and great for the, <laughs> good for the workout. As my family always says, my husband and I are Mr. and Mrs. Great. That's, a, that's what they say, because we always say, that's great. Okay, our next exercise are standing leg raises, okay? Standing side leg lifts. Deb, grab your book over there. Yes, Deb is going to start right away, because she's already got the ankle weights on. And I'm going to go ahead and instruct her over there. So just want to make sure she's doing this right. Sometimes people get this one wrong because they lead with their toe. But what I want you to do, I want you to lead with your heel like Deb's doing. She's doing a fantastic job of it too. Side leg lift, leading up with her heel. She's working the adductor muscle right here in the side of the leg. Most people call this the saddlebag muscle. There's no such thing, okay? I hate it's that saddlebag. <laughs> Deb, you don't have those saddlebags. And neither are you because you're going to burn them away. Great, Deb. Fantastic. Where did they get that name Saddlebag is what I want to know. Well, you know what? The saddlebag's on the side of a horse. <laughs> okay. Do, do you remember the bags that okay. the horses used to oh, use right. on the side of their right. saddles? Okay. <laughs> I wasn't quite sure All right. about that. Absolutely perfect. Working that adductor muscle. I'm going to go ahead and join Deb. And Deb, go ahead and you can switch legs at any time. If you need to turn to the side, you can. Okay. All right. I will do that. Yes. And I'll go ahead and keep going and lift. You can see what muscle's working there, the adductors. All right, abductor muscle. Okay, we say abduction, abductor. It's not the abs here, it's the abs here. Okay, just as important as the abs there. Great, and make it burn, burn it. Okay, let's go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and switch to the other side. And again, I'm hanging on to the couch. You can basically hang on to anything you'd like as I kick the ottoman cushion. Deb, hang how you doing? Hang on to your husband. Hang on to your boyfriend. <laughs> That's right. Just hang Our on. Our legs are getting strong. Great. Make it burn. Just a few more. Come on. I know it's burning, but it you is. can do it. Go as high as you can. Don't go too high. Woo. And we're going to go on to inner thigh squeezes. So we're staying up on our book. All right. And now we're going to go ahead and switch legs. Grabbing onto my couch cushion again for balance, and we're sweeping across, sweeping across. Now we're working the adductors, ADD, adductor muscles right here. Squeezing in, There's so squeezing many ways across. that you can work your muscle groups. I know, and look how simple, Deb. 
we haven't used anything that you wouldn't have in your home already. Deb has some ankle weights on. You don't need the ankle weights. You have the weight of your sneakers right. and the weight of your leg to lift. You don't need any extra. But you know what? As you get stronger from working out with us, you might need to go invest in some ankle weights because I know you are going to get stronger. You have no choice. Yeah, Deb, this is isn't that great. That burn. Quickly. Yes. Exactly. And let's go ahead and switch. Switch to the other side. Squeeze. And squeeze. And watch the form, too. Head and chest are up. Okay, abdomen is tight. Squeeze it across. Not swinging. We're squeezing across. Rolling. Squeeze. Is it burning, Deb? Yeah. It's great. I love this one. What we say? Hot legs. All right. Feels great. How are you doing out there? Are you breathing with me? Can you speak to me? I'm giving you a talk test right now. Are you talking to me? Tell me. Yeah, I know you are. And if you can't breathe right now, the reason why I'm giving you that is because you're working too hard. Your heart rate's getting up. Your respiration's going up. You don't want to work that hard. Go ahead and march it out just like this. Okay? Bring that heart rate back down. We can still get some more to come, okay? Good. I'm going to go right back to it. Squeeze it across. Squeeze it. Great. I'm going to go ahead and get down on the ground. Just a second. So grab your ab pad or just grab your towel and throw it on the ground because we're going to do some bridges for buns. Okay. All good. right. Bridges for buns. Work those buns. <laughs> Dialing for dollars and bridges <laughs> for buns. That's what we All like. Right. <laughs> we like that. All the way down and squeeze it up. Squeeze it up. And squeeze it up. It's for the buns. Feet are flat on the ground. Abdomen is tight. And this is where we're targeting, right here, right in the buns, right at that crease. You know where we always say that it's the bottom line? <laughs> the bottom line that we want to lift up a little bit? That's what it is. It's that area right there. Make it burn. Feel it. Don't strain on your back, okay? If you can't come up as high as I am or that Debbie's coming up, then you don't. You just squeeze to your ability, all right? You're listening to me, aren't you? How are you, Deb? I'm doing great over here. Great. Great form. Squeeze. Squeeze. What are we working again? The no. buttocks. Buttocks. <laughs> the buns. We want those nice, hot crust buns. Squeeze. It's really good to do high reps, Burn. right, Mia? What's that, Deb? It's really good to do high repetition. It is. We always talk about that. Everybody always asks us how many reps we should do. I like high repetitions because I want nice, tight, toned muscle. Okay? I don't want any bulky muscle. We just like to do a lot of repetitions, low weight. You could do this while watching TV. Great. Deb, I'm coming over to you because I want to make sure you're doing everything right. Just sit down and squeeze. watch TV and squeeze my butt. That's it. You know? That's exactly it. You can watch TV like you're doing right now, watching us. I'm fitting it in. Squeeze, Deb. How's that feeling? You feeling in the glute? Definitely. Great. Feels great. Okay. And squeeze. And squeeze it out. They're waking up now. All right, Deb. Are you ready for our single leg bridges <laughs> yes, now? Yes, I am. Okay, let's twist your body over here. Okay. All right. Right up in here. And I actually went right over your dumbbells. Come on down. There okay. You, go. you want this one leg foot up? and one to the ceiling. Okay. You ready? Yes. This is what you're doing right now. You're on your back. Your foot is either up on your ottoman or on your couch. And this heel is to the ceiling. Heel goes to the ceiling. But you can see, small movement. Debbie's moving about an inch movement. Very small. Okay. Oh, yeah. And screen. You feel that, Deb? Uh -huh. Where do you feel it? Right here. <laughs> right here. She knows it is right in there, right in her buns. <laughs> Exactly. That's great, Deb. Go ahead and switch. Okay. And then switch legs. And remember, this is a very small movement. It's not big at all. It really isolates. It's a very isolated movement. It is one of my favorite, favorite movements. It's right here, right for the buns. I told you, love those legs, love those buns. Do you do this every day? You do this exercise every day. I That's love it. That's why you're such great one. <laughs> oh, thanks, Deb. See, she's full of compliments today. That's because she doesn't want me to work her too hard. <laughs> right, Deb? That's right. You know it. She's sucking up to me. <laughs> That's great, Deb. Perfect. Go ahead and switch legs again. Awesome. A You're doing a exercise. Fantastic. You're doing a great job on it, too. You really, really feel it. I'm going to go join you. Okay. <laughs> it's like, go away, right? Yes. <laughs> All right. 
Woo! Leg up to the ceiling and push. And push. And as you can see, my foot's going straight to the ceiling. It's not going this way. It's not going that way. It's going straight up. Very slow, straight up. Straight up. Great. Great. Switch legs. One more time, Deb. Just okay. a few more. Great. Deb, and you know what's next? Our bridge for our inner thigh. Uh -oh. The other one we love so much. Yes. All right, let's go ahead and push back on our mat. All right. Let's go ahead and turn our mats too forward. All right. Just like you're doing at home right now. And we're going to go ahead and bridge up like we were before. But now we're going to take our two knees and squeeze. Oh, yeah. And squeeze. And squeeze. And squeeze. Love this one. Squeeze. Good. Come on down. Rest for a second. Two, three, four, and back up. Up. And squeeze. And squeeze. And I want you to keep in mind, do not arch your back. As you can see, my abdomen is tight and my back is in alignment. Five at a time. And then bring it down and rest. Two and three, four, and back up. And squeeze. And squeeze. And squeeze. And squeeze. You're starting to feel that burn down? Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> I know you're feeling it at home. And back down and rest. Two and three, four, and five. And back up. I like the rest part. <laughs> I think everybody likes the rest <laughs> part. Do you like the rest part, too? And squeeze. And squeeze. Keep that abdomen tight. Squeeze. And squeeze those inner thighs. Squeeze. You should feel it in the inner thighs. You should feel it in the buns. A little bit of everywhere. Squeeze. Yeah, and, and you know, squeeze they and down. Very quickly too. And Deb, I want you to go ahead and grab your knees and pull okay. them right into your chest. Stretch them out a little bit. And breathe. Good. And let's go back into it just for a few more. Okay. Bridge back up and squeeze. And squeeze. And squeeze. Again, abdomen tight. If you're too tired right now, you just stay there in that nice balled up stretch that we just did. And you wait for us because we still have a few more exercises to go before. Before we go eat those Nancy those Snickerdoodles. Snickerdoodles. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, we've been smelling those. Great. Good. And let's go into our abdominal exercises. Going into a double crunch. Deb, knees up. Okay. Hands either across your chest or on your chin. I don't want you pulling on your head, okay? So I'm going to go hands across chest and squeeze. And squeeze. And squeeze. And squeeze. I'm gonna put my hands on my jaw and squeeze abdominals and squeeze. I'm gonna go over to Deb right now, making sure she's doing them right. Because of course, abs, very important. Very Exhaling. important. Exhale, exhale on the way up. And you, do you know why? Because you wanna exhale all that air out of the abdomen. Deb's doing a beautiful job. Right. And squeeze. Look at this, look what she's doing. Perfect, abdominal crunch. She's working her rectus abdominis. That's that sheet of muscle that goes right over the abs. You know the one that everybody talks about, about having a six pack? That's it right there, right in this area. Okay, washboard abs, that's what it's about. Okay, now we're going into the reverse crunch. Are you ready? We're gonna go ahead and put our hands right down by our side and just bring the knees in. Relax your head down. This is, this is almost relaxing for you. The other one's a little bit harder, this is even easier. And squeeze. And what Debbie's concentrating on right now is the lower part of the abdomen. She's not letting her knees go past her hip line. And squeeze. This is the area where she's working. I would say belly button to pubic bone, that small little area in there. And squeeze. This is good too. And if squeeze. people have problems with their lower back. It is, Deb. It is a great, you know what? I'm glad you mentioned that because the abdomen works together with the back as your core is support. So your erector spinae muscles, the muscles that line your spine, along with your abdomen, keep your back nice and tight and firm. All right? Because you know what? A lot of people, 8 out of 10 people in their lifetime will have a back problem, whether it's a back injury or just from sitting too much and having very tight hamstrings. So really important. So stay with us. We're going to be stretching next. I know Debbie's going to be Ooh, so excited about yes, that. Yes, I am. <laughs> I love it. You know, Deb, this is my favorite. This is the stretch when it comes up. I know. Isn't Relaxation. It the best? All right, Deb, go ahead and stretch those hands up and feet down, and I'm going to join you in our stretch. Oh, great. Big stretch. All right. Big stretch. Hands up over the head. Big exhale. Exhale. 
Okay, let's go into our glute stretch since we worked on our hips and our thighs. Oh, Cross yeah. Cross that leg over, grab through the hole in here, and grab the back of your knee and pull it right into your chest. Now remember, this is a very small movement. You should feel the stretch right here in the glutes. And if you feel a stretch, even if your foot is still on the floor, that's okay. That is stretching your glute. Let's go ahead and switch to the other side. Bring it back down. From the moment it arrives, you sense it. Perhaps it's the authentic European roasting, or simply the rich, distinctive taste that is one of Europe's finest coffees. Let it envelop you and experience a pleasure that's purely Javalia Cafe. You won't find Javalia on any corner, yet it's within arm's reach. Simply call 1-800-845-4058 and we'll deliver two boxes of our exquisite coffee from Europe for just $10. You'll receive our coffee maker free to ensure you taste Javalia at its finest. Order now and receive two free mugs. If you enjoy Javalia, we'll send you more automatically. The free coffee maker, free mugs, and two boxes of freshly sealed Javalia Cafe, delivered to you with no further obligation. It's too delicious to let pass you by. Call one 800 8 You're doing a lot of work and it seems very, um, almost no return, you know, like... It's really hard. And to a country clamoring for any sign of hope comes disappointing news. Rescuers still have had no contact with anyone inside the debris. President Bush flies to New York to see the destruction up close for the first time. He tours the site. An arm around a rescue worker delivers a rousing message. I'm sorry about your father. Thank you. And I'm sorry I picked that fight with you at the Beaver Creek. Go over. Expecting someone? If anyone sees me, well, you never know. I'm glad you're running for sheriff. I want to help. Once in a while, Summers calls down to the inn for one of the girls to come play, as he puts it. I've been out there to that big house of his a couple times. You hear a lot of loose talk when everybody's been drinking, doing drugs and all that. I heard bits and pieces, you know. Enough to figure Summers had something to do with your father's death. Can you prove it? They were talking about bringing in some explosives expert. gotta go. Well, how can I get in touch with you? You can't. I'll call you. Good morning, Matt. Hi, Maria. Is China in? Yeah, she's in the living room. How about some coffee? Sure. Hi, Matt. That same kid on the motorcycle is down the street. Maybe it's a different kid. Well, it could be. I think we should make sure. Now, we'll act like we're parting. I'll turn off down the block and circle around. Who if he follows you? And you circle around. to look realistic, right? I guess so.
the bike. You're the one that helped me out in Beaver Creek. I get around. What's your name? Dakota. What, just Dakota? Why have you been following us? Want one? We're on the same side. Racing my bike, little towns here and there around the country. While I was gone, my old man took off. Left my mother. No great loss, if you know what I mean. When I called, they said she moved here. So when I hit town, I thought I'd go visit her. Went by her place. She wasn't there. Landlady said I could find her out at this place called the Beaver Creek. What do you want, Jack? Just a beer. What are you looking for, mister? Oh, my God. Look who dropped him. Look who's here. It's my son. Sensational. Let me see you. How you been doing? I'm doing all right. Winning a couple races now and then. I'm real proud of you. I cut out an article from the sports page and saved it. And you find me. You're landlady. Look, it just occurred to me you're not even old enough to be in here, so I want you to take this key and I'll meet you back at the house, okay? I have to break this up. Mommy's got to go to work. Hey, look, he was just leaving, so you don't have to push. There's a guy waiting for you. Don't leave a customer wait. Let her go, hey, huh? Hey, hey. Come on, come on. Get this. Get out of here. Hey. Nobody touches the bar. To see your mother again? She's dead. Some kind of accident out of Beaver Creek. I poked around some, didn't find out much. People are scared. This guy Summers is into some bad. Nobody wants to talk about him. We know. I'm sorry about your mother. I just want to find out the truth, how it happened. Brian residence. Yeah. Yeah, she's right here. Who's calling, please? No? She won't say. This is China. I'm calling to warn you. I can't tell you my name, so it's no use to ask. You'll be killed if you start your car. There's a bomb in your trunk. <laughs> Say something about a bomb? He said there's a bomb in the trunk of my car. All clear. Voilà, Dominique. Just like when we were little girls in, in Marseille. Michel. Delicious air plaque from Maman's garden. Michel. And the crunch. Mmm, it's magnifique.
Michelle. Michelle. Michelle what? We're from Brooklyn. Get out of here. Yo, wait up. Introducing Lay's Bistro Gourmet Potato Chips in roasted garlic and herb, applewood barbecue with smoked cheddar and other gourmet accents. Bet you can't eat just in. Ha, ha, ha. Things were getting pretty dull around here. And here. And here. Then I discovered New Aveeno Skin Brightening Moisturizer. You know how dull and tired your skin can look. Well, Aveeno actually brightens skin, smooths away blotchiness, evens out skin tone with soy extract plus vitamins A and C. A breakthrough formula that gives you back that natural, healthy glow. New Aveeno Skin Brightening Moisturizer for brighter, radiant skin. That roach thinks he's got it made. A mere scamper to the pantry. Only this homeowner called 1-800-TERMINEX for a convenient solution to the problem within 24 hours. So this roach is toast. Call 1-800-TERMINEX for a free inspection. Who would like a fresher place to live? Then put that paw to work. With Fresh Step, the only paw-activated cat litter. Now with 50% more odor controllers than ever before. Fresh Step, always a step ahead. Must be hungry, hungry. Let's go get some food. Sure, sure, like the milk dogs do. Oh, little trusty Wessie. Oopsie, oopsie. Something good on the swing, you really. Ah, uh, poop, poop, poop. Ah, is Daddy ready home from work, eat jerky? When you're in desperate need of a night out, you need Broadway.com and Visa. How super wonderful you of iambic pentameter. Wonderful Visa, the preferred card of Broadway.com. You graduated with honors. Your parents couldn't be prouder. Now you're about to pop the top of a Coke that could win you a million dollars. And instead of being known as the smart son, you'll be known as the son who won a million dollars from a can of Coke. Pop the top of a Coke from specially marked bottles or can multi-packs this summer for a chance to win. Why not you? Why not now? Time is running out. Looks like another scorcher. Hey, Mrs. Johnson. You'd be surprised how much the right air conditioner can save on your monthly cooling costs. No! American Standard, cutting the cost to cool. Now through June 30th, buy a qualifying system and make no payments until 2002. Call 1-866-NICE-AIR. You know Bridgestone sells tires for cars like this, and this, and this. But now we're having a sale on tires for cars like this, and this. Introducing the Insignia SL, a new Bridgestone tire for cars like yours. On sale now during the Insignia sale. You can even take them for a free 30-day test spin. The distinction is Bridgestone, so see your participating Bridgestone or Firestone retailer. Come on, get ready to save on the best-selling SUVs on the planet during the spring sales event at your Tri-State Quality Ford store. Check out the all-new 2002 Ford Explorer. It now offers seating for seven with available third row, a new independent rear suspension, a lower step-in height and wider stance, and a powerful V8 engine. Available now on the 2002 Explorer during the spring sales event. The best time to save on the best sellers. Tuesday nights at 9, an all-new original primetime series on TNT. What is the witch blade? A mystery. You can use the witch blade to pierce the veil of the senses. You were chosen. You are special. The witch blade has powers, but only the person who wields it can truly know them all. See the story of a woman who started out a cop and became something more. What are you? Justice. Witch blade. Tuesday nights at 9.